Excuse me. Hello, it's me again. Daryl, Florida Catholic guy. Leaving the bridge. Trying to look for gators. Not having any luck. Anyway, the sidewalk is kind of like a nature trail in some spots. I like it. Quite a ways away from my home. Probably, probably I'm guessing about a mile back to home. I can take a shortcut through where the library is, which I did on the way. I should say. Looking for the elusive Florida gator. So, uh, anyway. Uh, there was a bunch of Supreme Court cases that got tossed. Um, the only justices that were on our side were Alito, um, Thomas, Clarence Thomas, and uh, Gorsuch. The other two that Trump appointed uh, Amy Coney Barrett and uh, Kavanaugh were uh, went in with the left, as did, of course, Chief Justice Roberts, which is no surprise to anyone. I just don't get Kavanaugh siding with the, uh, and it's not the first time he's done it, siding with the uh, people that accused him of being a rapist. You know, it makes me think that, I don't know if they got some something on them or what, but why would you side with some, with a side that, I don't know, just don't get it. You know, at this point, I don't even want him, I mean, I do want him to overturn the election, but I know that at this point it's not going to happen. What I want most of anything is for the courts to force force these states to take voter fraud seriously so we can secure the next election. But we can't even count on them to do that. I don't know, I just don't have any use for these clowns. And uh... One of the lawsuits was from Linwood, the other was a Trump lawsuit that they dismissed. And, uh, I don't know, Trump's own judges are going against him. And, uh, I don't know, just real crazy the way things are. 
then we have down here in Florida, we got our own story. Of course, our governor, Ron DeSantis, he uh, ordered flags to be half staff for uh, Rush Limbaugh. And uh, Nikki Fried, who's the uh, commissioner of agriculture for the state of Florida, she's like one of the only elected Democrats in statewide office. She uh, she refused to have her people put their flags at half staff at uh, Department of Agriculture offices said that we're not going to celebrate hate speech and all this other garbage that the left likes to say when uh, in reality they're the only ones guilty of hate speech uh, also the mayor of St. Petersburg also a Democrat he pretty much said the same thing that uh, Nikki Fried said, which, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm surprised uh, Castor Oil hasn't gotten on TV. That's, uh, for those that don't know, that's Mayor Jane Castor. I call her Castor Oil. She's the mayor of Tampa, and uh, she's a, a flaming leftist. getting through here with a couple of cars. She's a flaming leftist also. And, uh, I mean, I'm sure she's not going to lower the flags, but I'm just surprised it wasn't in the article. You know, whatever you think of Rush Limbaugh, this is another one of the uh, ponds that I looked at. Of course, there's no gators. It's actually backed up to the uh, school. The school is there and the uh, library is down the street from the school. A couple of years before I moved here, they actually did have an alligator in the school parking lot. So you know there's some around here. It was removed, obviously. Uh, You know, they don't want a gator in, uh, around the school if they can help it. <laughs> so, but anyway, whatever, whatever anyone thinks uh, about Rush Limbaugh, excuse me, burping. Whatever anyone thinks about Rush, he was a true patriot. I don't know if I'd go so far as to call him a hero, but an argument could be made that he was. Uh, but he was definitely a pioneer. I mean, he gave a voice to millions of us at a time when we didn't have any voice at all. And, uh, He took a small thing and turned it into a huge nationwide, even worldwide broadcast. And he's loved by millions of us. And for these Democrats, to be spitting on his name after he's dead is diabolical. Of course, that's what the Democrats are. The Democrats are the party of Satan. There's no doubt about that. And, uh... I actually have a book 
a really good book. It's called Liberalism is a Sin. And uh, I read it through once. I think I started going through it twice. I haven't picked it up in a long time. But it is really, really good. I first read it when I was uh, in the monastery back in, oh, when was it, 2007, I think? Summer of 2007. And uh, it was one of the books we had in our library. And uh, and it, that was back, I don't know when the book was written, but at least 2007, and it probably was written long before then. And it was a sin back then, and it's even worse now. It's a sin, it's a mental disorder. I mean, the big thing that they're doing now is they're, what do you call it? Uh, oh yeah, they're uh, letting these uh, boys that wanna be girls playing girls sports teams. I mean, that's been going on for a while, but Trump kind of put a stop to it for a while. And now Biden's bringing it back full steam. And it's not fair to actual women. And uh, because these real women, especially like in high school sports, they're trying to get scholarships and everything for college. And they're getting their ass beat by these men. And it's not fair. And it is, it's a mental sickness. It's not something that should be celebrated. I mean, this whole country and whole world, actually, because, I mean, you can't escape it no matter where you go. Even in, uh... Once uh, very Catholic countries there starting to legalize this stuff, starting to uh, legalize abortion, and uh, it's just sad. And uh, of course, when you have a pope that's a clown. He doesn't do anything. I'm down to two bars here, so. Shut it off for a second. Started off with uh, four bars, which is fully charged. All right, there I go, fully charged. Now three bars. If I can keep three bars, I'll be happy. But anyway, this country and world is literally going to hell. And uh, that's sad. Also, wanted to talk about. I finally went out on a uh, real motorcycle ride. A real ride uh, with the Legion riders that I uh, belong to. Uh, started out at the post and uh, went down, cut across 301 to 41 and uh, we went down We went down 41, 
Then we caught the uh, we caught the uh, 275, the uh, Sunshine Skyway Bridge. First time going over that, that's something. That's absolutely something. And to be going over it in a motorcycle, wow. Incredible. And uh, so we went to uh, St. Pete Beach. There's a post down there. We went to... Uh, Oh, I can't think of the name of the beach we went to, but uh, there's another post down at one of the beaches between St. Pete and Clearwater. And uh, I'll figure it out. I got it written down somewhere because uh, I had an incident there. Uh, we stopped there for lunch. And uh, that post that we uh, went to lunch at, they're really sticklers with, for masks. You gotta wear masks. And, uh, well, first of all, I didn't bring my mask with me. And, uh, I usually have a exempt card saying I'm exempt, but I didn't bring that with me because I didn't think I'd need it. Probably wouldn't have worked anyway, but uh, whatever. I, uh, I went in and I went to the bar to order a soda because I don't drink alcohol when I'm riding obviously plus I've given up alcohol for Lent so that's another thing uh, so he we went went to the bar to get a soda and the bartender is there he says you got to put a mask on and I says I'm exempt I got a medical exemption he says I'm not going to serve you unless you have a mask on. So I started getting heated. I said, you have to. It's part of the Disabilities Act. He says, you get, my commander said people have to have masks, so people have to have masks. So I'm not going to serve you without a mask. And I told him to uh, go F himself, although I said the whole word and not just F. And he says, now you can leave. have a way with words. So I'm quite sure I'm probably the first sober person to ever be kicked out of a legion post. But anyway, I left, I went outside and uh, sat on the bench, stewing, <laughs> and my uh, ride captain, he's the guy that's in charge of, the, of all the riders that are on the ride, you know, mostly for safety and, you know, whatever. He comes out and talks to me and says, you know, you gotta have a mask. He says, you can't, you can't use that kind of language. And, you know, all this and that. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And, I, and he says, well, he says, why don't you come on in and have lunch? I said, I can't, I've been kicked out. He says, no, he says, he says it's all right. He says, come on in. And, so I thought he had smooth fingers over, so I uh, sat down, oh, and he gave me, this is one of those clothes. he gave me a second-hand used mask that I had to wear. So if I didn't have COVID before, I'll probably get it now. So that's how disgusting this whole mask shit is. And, uh... Anyway, I ended up buying my own mask because I didn't want to wear somebody's used mask. So, uh...
So I went back in, sat at the table. Everybody else had already ordered, but that was all right. Uh, the waitress got me, uh, the server got me a uh, menu. I was looking at it, and uh, the bartender comes back over and says, I'm not kidding, you got to leave. He says, you got to get out of here now. And I'm like, and, uh, and everybody's like saying, you know, <coughs> he's with us, you know, just let him stay. And he says, no, he told me to F myself twice. And uh, so then he looks at me again and says, you got to go, let's go move and uh, so I started to get up and they were like well what if he promises to wear a mask it's like no nope, no nope, he's got to leave he told me to have myself and uh, so I looked at him for a minute well it wasn't a minute probably 10 seconds 5 seconds whatever and I told him I says I apologize for using the language he says you're gonna use a mask? I says, yeah, I'll use a mask. He says, all right, you can stay. So, because I did feel bad for using the language that I use with him. I shouldn't have done that. And, uh, you know, he's just following his orders and whatever, you know, I could have handled myself a lot better, but. So I got my dinner and everything and made peace with everybody and, uh, Hi. So then after we were done eating, I went back up to the bartender and I apologized to him again because I didn't want him thinking that I was just apologizing just to uh, just to be let in for dinner. So we shook hands after that and we were cool. So, but anyway, that's the story of when I got thrown out of the Legion post. And uh, lesson learned, I'll, uh, I'll wear the stupid mask, you know, when I have to. And uh, I'll bring my fake mask with me, which has the, uh, which has the s screen. I think I told everybody about that before. It's basically, instead of a solid mask, it's got a screen so you can breathe. Uh, they can't say anything because it's a mask. It's over your mouth. It covers your mouth. But you can breathe. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah. So yeah. Uh, almost at the mailbox. So I got those other videos. see how things go and uh, so I'll end this now thanks for watching God bless you stay safe see you in the next one bye